Hey name tags and welcome back. This is Ash from Heal My PC. Today I've got a laptop for you and I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot and possibly fix a laptop which doesn't want to turn on. Now this is a, the Lenovo G510 and it belongs to a client. Unfortunately when he was trying to DIY fix it, he snapped off the back cover because he forgot to take off a couple of screws which were hiding behind the battery good news for me is now I have access to all the components makes my job easier so we're gonna leave the battery out for the rest of the test now for a laptop or desktop which doesn't want to turn on if there's no power as e, ie that you don't see any LED lights or fan movement then check out my couple of vids which I'm gonna post in the annotation or the link below you may require a multimeter to test for the charger or the power but that's a different video now the symptoms for this laptop are different and if you see For this one, I've already tested the charger which is working fine But when I plug it in, I don't know if you can see that And if I turn the power on there is a white light and the fan spin Can you see the fan? Yep, and hopefully you can see the white light there somewhere now but there is no display and that's what we're going to test today now one of the quickest tests you could do is to check whether it's a problem with your screen or a problem with your laptop so get yourself a standalone working monitor or TV and use a video cable in this case I'm going to use a VGA because this laptop has got VGA it's also got HDMI and I'm going to use a VGA because I know it works now plug in your VGA cable and make sure your monitor is turned on and you've got the right source because this one has got three so I'm going to select this sub which is VGA now plug in your charger remember we took the battery out and turn the power on and I don't know if you can see but there's a light yeah white light there's a white light here, which means there's power coming in. And I think there's a red LED light, if you can see that. Okay, now, if you have a problem with the screen, but your laptop is working fine, you should see the uh, BIOS post up here. If you see nothing, then you got a different problem. So, take off the VGA cable. We're going to do a couple of more tests. Now, another thing you could do, get yourself a bright light. I'm going to use my phone in this case, but it's not bright enough, but you need something quite bright and you bring it close to the screen. So what you're going to want to do, switch off the laptop, turn it back on, bring the light very close to the screen, more like the center, turn the power back on and look at the screen closely. If you see a, like a faint logo of your model, like this one is, is a Lenovo, if you see like Dell or whatever you've got. Even if it's very faint and very um, pale, it means that the inverter or the cathode um, or the backlight is not working. Now, if you see that, it means you can actually change the cathode or the um, inverter. For the older LCD models, you can remove the bezels and the inverter or cathode will be down here or up here. For the new LED model, it's a bit more complicated. In which case, I would say if you can see your logo with a bright light, then you should consider changing the whole screen. Okay? Now, if that fails, now it's time to do something else. And it's called a hard reset. I've done a couple of other videos. You can check them there. Um, basically, unplug the charger. Press and hold the power button. Remember, we already took out the battery, so if you didn't, you have to take out the battery first, then press and hold power button for about 15 seconds or more. Now that discharges, that discharges all the electricity from your laptop. Plug back the charger and press the power button on. And if that works, then sort it. Sometimes it does help. If that doesn't help, then here's what you can do. Off the charger, press and hold the power button. And discharge the electricity and we're going to go to the back this time now locate your ram slots and again i've done another video with ram failure issue to fix a laptop again i will post the link up annotation or in the link below 
what you need to do take off both from slots sorry both from sticks okay oh, I can't get to that and what you want to do is you want to reinsert one RAM stick at a time in one slot. So usually start with the slot which is closest to the motherboard. So you want to put that back in. And you want to again plug your charger in. And you want to turn it on. Sometimes the RAM issue will be a problem and that would have fixed it. If that fixes the problem, that means either this second RAM stick or the second RAM slot was a problem. But if that doesn't help, what you need to do now is to continue inserting the second RAM stick in the same first slot, then in the second slot, then both of them, then swap them around. Basically, you do kind of full configuration. And each time when you do an insertion or removal, you need to discharge the electricity, plug back in and test them one at a time. It's a bit painful, but that's something that you should be able to do within about a couple of minutes. Uh, another thing you could do is if you have an, another working RAM of the same configuration, you could bring that to test, see if it's working. Now, if that doesn't work, now comes the problem with your motherboard and that has two issues the first issue is it could be your graphics card the chip is basically soldered onto the board and sometimes over time it will be unsoldered now some people do something called reflow or reboarding which basically means they use a hot air gun and they're going to try and see if they can melt and uh, the balls on and then it will kind of glue back onto the motherboard some professionals do not like this method they actually hate it it doesn't work if it does work it works for a short time it's a temporary fix some people don't even consider it as a fix i wouldn't recommend it in good faith um if your laptop is being used for more than just daily browsing and general stuff for example like video editing don't do that and also some people, if they don't know how to correctly monitor the temperature, they will do more damage than good. Generally, my advice is don't do it unless you want to take the risk and get have someone do it for you. Now, if that doesn't fix the problem or if you don't want to do that, you should now consider getting your motherboard repaired by a professional components engineer. And or you could get your motherboard replaced. That's up to you to decide. You need to weigh the pros and cons. You know my feelings about laptops and I will post a link down below or up here in the annotation where I do a fixing of an overheating laptop and I do a bit of ranting. So, uh, and last thing, hard disk, precious data, all your pictures and your videos and your whatnots. So hopefully you were savvy enough to save them or backed up somewhere. If you're not, then shame on you. Uh, but if you want to know how to do a complete backup, then I've got an upcoming video where I'm going to show you how to do this. In the meantime, you should be considering data retrieval. So that's it, guys. So remember, this is for a laptop which has some power coming in and the fan spinning, but not if there's absolutely no power. If there's no power, check the charger, check the power. That's the other video. So almost dropped this. Anyway, this was Ash from Heal My PC. If you want to see more, subscribe and do your thing down below. Until next time, peace out.